What is up guys, my name is Bailey and welcome back to another one of my videos. In this video, I have another iPhone 14 Pro charge test for you guys. This one's gonna be with this Anchor battery pack. This specific model is the Anchor 622 battery pack. Now on its website, it does state that this is advertised for iPhone 12s and 13s. And I have done a test on this previously and unboxed it and it does work for the iPhone 14 Pro. So I'm assuming it will work with the iPhone 14 as well as the iPhone 14 Plus and the Pro Max since it does work with the iPhone 14 Pro. It just sticks off a little bit off of this device. Now they do make a battery pack specifically for the iPhone 14s, but that one does not have this full design. And that one doesn't have as many reviews too. So if you do want this folded design like so, then you can actually use this specific battery pack with the iPhone 14. But without me talking about it, this battery pack so much, let's go ahead and run the test. And the test what I'm gonna do, currently the iPhone 14 Pro is currently dead. I have drained it down all the way. If I try to turn it on, you guys can see that it will show the plugged in icon right there. It's saying that the battery is completely dead and I should plug it in. Now, I have done a battery test on this iPhone 14 Pro in the past and what I charged it with was actually with the iPhone or the Apple 20 watt charger which I have right here so I have the lightning cable and the 20 watt charger um, I have done that test on a separate video if you guys want to watch that I'll leave a link to it in the description down below however long story short the charge with the 20 watt charger will take about one hour and 37 minutes. So if you want to see that full video, it'll be linked down below, but it'll be about an hour and 37, which is the comparison time I'm gonna use with this battery charger. Now this battery charger states that it should be about 7.5 watts of charging since it is using that wireless MagSafe charger in the back. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead and plug this in or not plug it in. Let's put this on the back of the phone. I am leaving the case on the phone um, and show you the battery life real quick. So you guys can see that it's showing four dots. I guess the four dots is going to be completely charged. I looked up the specs on it. I guess that last dot, for some reason, it does not light up. So if there's four dots, it's fully charged. So each dot is going to be about 25%. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on the phone. Um, it should start charging automatically. You guys can see that on the bottom, if you turn it on right there, the, the lights turn on and you can see that it starts blinking and now all of the lights are turned on and the front of the phone actually shows that the battery icon is on so it is currently charging. You guys can see right there that just barely hovers over it. Um, it might be hard to see on camera but in person you can see it just barely hover over it um, but like I said it, it doesn't bug me um, the phone is currently charging so I'm gonna go ahead and leave this phone right here I'm gonna go ahead and turn on a timer as well on my iPad Pro or not my iPad Pro my iPad Air here um, and right now it started the timer so I will be coming back maybe every 20 or 30 minutes to give an update on the last charge test I just did it for an hour or so and when I came back at about 90 minutes it was almost fully charged so I won't run into that mistake again I will come back a little bit earlier to give you guys a periodic update on the charge so I'll be right back in about 20 minutes or so so we just barely passed over the 20 minute mark Checking the battery percentage here. It is showing 12% charge. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a little it's a little bright right there. But you guys let's get that pulled up again. Man, it's 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 hard to see that, isn't it? Let's actually log in here. There we go. Let's go into this. Let's go into the settings here. The, the black home screen. So 12% in about 20 minutes. The phone is still charging. Still full bars on the very bottom. So I'm going to set this down and come back in about another 20 minutes or so. So here we are coming right up on 40 minutes. 
You guys can see that it is still charging with the anchor battery pack on the bottom because the LED lights are on the bottom there. If you check the time, it is now past 20%. It is at 22%. And that's going to be a 10% increase because the first 20 minutes that this was charging for, it went up 12%. Then the next 20 minutes went up 10%. So I'm going to go ahead and set this down and continue the charge and come back in 20 minutes. So here we are coming up to the 60 minute mark. You guys can see the battery percentage on the top right. It is saying that it's at 30%. And it is still currently charging on the very bottom. So since the last time I checked it, it went up roughly 8%. So it is slowly getting slower charges. So we'll see what the next 20 minutes brings us. But so far, just to recap, first 20 minutes was 12%, then the next 20 minutes was plus 10%, then now this last 20 minutes has been plus 8%. So if you're following that trend, you should be getting about 6 or 7% on this next 20 minutes, but we'll come back in 20 minutes and see where it brings us. So here we are, it is barely past another 20 minutes, and the percentage is sitting at 36%. So that's a 6% increase from the last check. So it is slowly getting worse in terms of charging. You can see at the very bottom here, it is still charging. It has gone down one battery level um, as far as the LED lights. So now there are three lights on the battery case. The phone is a little warm, but regardless, it is still charging the phone. So I'll be back in about another 20 minutes and give an update on what it is currently sitting at. So here we are about 100 minutes in to the battery charge. So it's one hour and 40 minutes. You guys can see that it is still currently charging and the current battery life on it is sitting at 44%. So with this, it went up about 8% charge since the last time we checked it. So it is staying around the 8% charge now. Um, so getting back to the very beginning, I know previous iPhones, it does state that the first 50% should charge fairly quickly. In this case, it charged under 50% in about one hour and 40 minutes. So we'll be back in another 20 minutes to see what the charge is at a two hour mark. So here we are two hours in and the phone currently still charging. Looks like it's down to two batteries now on the um, Anchor battery pack, but you can see that right there at the very top, it's showing 51%, so it just barely passed over to the halfway mark on the battery on the iPhone 14 Pro. So in two hours, you can say that you're getting 51% of charge, and I would think in my opinion that's kind of bad if you are using the battery pack. So obviously if you want a faster charge, you're gonna have to use the Apple or even a different wall charger as this one is only a 7.5 watt charger. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue this charge. Um, I'm gonna come back in an hour or so. Instead of doing 20 minute marks, it'll probably take some time for it to get all the way up. So I'll be coming back in about an hour at the three hour mark and then check it to see what it's currently at. So here we are at the three hour mark. I just noticed that right now the phone is at 70%. Um, you can see in the top right right there. Let me actually get in my settings so you guys can see that. You can see right there it says 70%, but the charger has died. So it looks like the charger has stopped charging. So that kind of ends this charge test. Um, the anchor battery pack only charged up to 70%. So in three hours you're gonna get up to 70% on the charge, which is surprising because I thought that you could get 5,000 milliamps out of this charger, um, which should be larger than the iPhone 14 Pro battery itself. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. I might need to reach out to Anchor to see what's exactly going on. Um, but that ends the charge test. Um, 
it dies between the two hour mark and the three hour mark. I'm not exactly sure when it exactly died because it came back one hour after. So three hours in and you'll be getting roughly 70% charge. Hopefully this video is kind of helpful to you guys. Hope you get an idea as to how much charge you can get off of the Anger battery pack. Um, maybe you can get a longer charge if you plug it in directly, but I'm gonna test it to see if you get a longer charge if you plug it in versus via the MagSafe charging. So if you guys enjoy this type of content, make sure you smash that like button for me. If you guys have any questions at all, drop it down in the comment section down below. And like always, I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Peace.